first ever episode of Cocktail Corvallis. I wanted to make this show just to kind of help our fellow Corvallis citizens make their own cocktails at home, as well as kind of explore and show off the world of Corvallis to the world, bringing back up the international standards on cocktails, and kind of show off just the cocktail culture that we have going on here in Oregon, as well as Corvallis. So, with that said, I'd like to move on to my first drink. My first drink will be a rip off of the old recipe of a Negroni. Negroni was made in Italy using uh, equal parts of gin and then vermouth and uh, Campari. We're going to be twisting a little bit, so we're going to be using an Oregon product, Ransom Old Tom Gin, a little bit sweeter than the normal gin. Then, if you ever go to Roma, Rome, you'll have Campari, and if you have Campari with it, they serve it with nuts. So, we infuse the Campari with nuts, giving a little bit of nutty flavor, a little more full body. With this, we've also put in um, peanuts with a uh, shell, so we're giving a little bit of woodiness, a little aging. Then we have port, embedded infused with orange. I always have liked orange with my Campari, so I want orange with my Negroni. So, and finally, we have chocolate bitters. So, this will be kind of, we're starting with our dessert bitters. Already, all you cocktail nerds are knowing why is she breaking up the shaker. I'm not going to shake this cocktail, but I'm not going to stir it. The reason for that is the port is a lot thicker in viscosity than any of the other liqueurs. Whereas if you were using vermouth, the vermouth is the same viscosity. I'm going to throw it. So, we'll use 50 mils, large measure of this wonderful gin. Top. 45 milliliters of lard that has been infused with nuts. Okay. And because the pork is already sweeter than the pot, we're using less, much less. So, just 15 minutes. A couple dashes of bitters. And then, we're going to launch the uh, throw this. Show our glasses. Talk about any excess water that's now created. Put the cocktail back in the big end of the shaker. Times you get great aeration, but you don't get the uh, ice that you would or the dilution that you would get for shaking. So you're achieving something in between shaking and stirring. Won't you sing to me? Baby, why are you so quiet? Keeping everything inside. Baby. I Thanks for watching this week's episode of Cocktail Provides. If you want the full recipe, join us on Facebook. Cheers.